I lived to care for Rosa. I hated the way my family treated her. Sometimes they would refer to her as that cockroach. As she was growing up, some of the children would tell her that we were not related. The day finally came. I think she was about in third or fourth grade. When she asked me about our relationship, I had no choice but to tell her the truth. That her mother had been killed and that I had found and raised her. And so then I was both her mother and her sister. From that day on, Rosa never stopped asking questions. Hard questions. Haunting questions. Questions with no easy answer. My family hated Rosa. Because she became a burden. They kept trying to force me to get rid of her. Because they were afraid of being killed. But how could I? She was just a baby. A perfectly normal baby. And I thought, if the person who had slashed her mother came and found her alive, he would kill her too for sure. Or she would die of hunger. She was just a baby. My dear Rosa, all I have left from your mother is this blood-stained cloth. It is what I found you wrapped in. I used to carry you on my back with it. I always loved the African prince. Oh, Mama, I never wanted to live without you. I never got to say goodbye to you. And now, all I have left of you is this blood-stained cloth. Oh, Mama, I will hold it. I will wear it. And take pictures with it. And hang them on the walls of my heart that beats with the blood that we share. Mama, let the wings of your soul carry me. Carry me with you. For as long as I have this memory, we will never be apart. I will live to make you proud, Mama. I promise. I promise. Thank you.